Oh. Hi, girl. and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at the Bloomington Antique Mall. It's a place that I haven't been in since before Thanksgiving. So let's go in and let's see what we can find today. We're, start doing this. We're going the opposite way that we normally go. Or that I've been, at least. I usually don't look at the cases, but... This mall is very nice. I think some of these booths like this is all kind of newer things in like home decor. No, that's not what I am looking for. Oh, here's some uh, M.A. Hadley. Lots of M.A. Hadley. Okay. These are $18.99 for the little egg cups. Or no, juice cup. for the horse, 18 for each plate. It's pretty reachable. This is Janet's Treasures. She's got some Roseville. Roseville for $35. Roseville's very pretty. It's just not, it's not my jam. It's very pretty. Oh, see, I'm like, all about this vintage sheet music. Don't fence me in. Oh, here's a tiki glass. This one is $8. Tiki mug. It's got a candle or you can't see, but it's got a candle or something melted down in there. My favorite booth is coming up. We're, we're close to it. It's so cute. Wait till you see it. You're going to be so impressed. You will love it. This is nice. She's got her linens all nicely folded. Some postcards and mats. There's a broken. There's a broken Valentine. American junk. Some little hankies. Four dollars. They're all pressed and so nice. How much do they want for their table scarves? Uh, yellow tablecloth. Oh, that's that one. $12. Right now I'm just kind of looking for ones with animals or people. That one's Friday. Tea towel. A lot of nice ones. Up here where Mark is standing. Wait till you see it. <gasps> Isn't it lovely? It's so nice. We're gonna take a close look. $12.50. It's cased glass. I love this little cork. We got spooky floors. Shawnee, they're $15. These should have a, they had noisemakers. No, nope, the noisemakers are missing. I don't know if it's in this one. Oh, yep, here we go. Ready? Kind of hear it. It's in, a, in a bin. Which of these guys? $12.50. How to be big hearted towards small customers. So what they've done is they've taken some ads out of magazines and they put them in frames. <gasps> Hello, big guy. Yeah, he's $75, but he is a 26 inch Rushton. So he's a big, a big fella. Yeah, this one's 115. This big one, he's a store display. Santa. Fun. Well, looky here. This is a spice rack. For $39. 
my little people on it. Yeah, this booth is fun. She's got a lot of neat things. And she has it displayed so fun. There's some more salt and pepper shakers here. Look at this table. Oh, it's just so cute. It's 50s kitsch. It's the cutest. Won $199 for the table. It's so cute. This booth next door I think is kind of spendy. But we'll take a look. Here they've got a corky pig. Sixty dollars. That's retail. This is Shawnee for hundred dollars. So we'll probably just just look. Look at that luggage. That's fun. And a little stove. I think there's a yeah. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. It's twenty-five dollars firm for the little refrigerator. Oh my gosh. Why can't that be at the thrift store? That's what I want to say. Oh. Hi, girl. Well, here's a book. I've never, you know, I've started to get into books a little bit more. So I've never really, not really looked much in this booth. I mean, they only, they only sell books. But like, see, Wordsworth poems. I'm just curious to see what they want for their books. Usually they're probably written in pencil. $25. See, they write it in pencil inside their book. They don't put stickers on the outside of their book. They know what they're doing. There's a lot of neat books here. Like, look at that one with the um, plaid, laurel leaves, but I'm going to assume since that one was $25 that they're all going to be spendy, but I'm looking for children's books like this, like readers with really cool graphics. That one doesn't have, this one doesn't have color graphics in it. Camping. All the Hardy Boys and the Bobsy Twins. The Bobsy Twins at Meadow Brook. Medea. That's not the same Medea. Medea goes to jail. Donna Parker. A spring to remember. Like these. Frisky Squirrels story. $15. That had like the really cool lithograph um, pictures. Oh my. That cat's mad. $15. Missing color plate. Five little peppers. I did just pick up some Tanala. I paid up for it a little bit, but it was 20% off. $29 firm on the lady head vases, which isn't bad. I'm getting ready to head downstairs. I've gotten a few things. Look at all that fenton. $50. You get 12 of them for $50. All that fit in. They all have their tags on them. I think this building at one time used to be an old furniture store. They do have nice big elevators, which is what makes me think that, you know, back in the was a furniture store. They used the elevators to get the furniture back up and down. 
I, I found more things coming downstairs than I have upstairs. So hopefully, I think this is all like vinyl and stuff, which I don't really do. So hopefully we can find some stuff. Some old toys. It's a bunny rabbit. It plays a drum. For $20. Here's the Pillsbury Dough Boy. Hmm. All right, this is another booth that I love, and I have found some pretty cool things in here. So let's see. Oh, look at this little thing. It's ten dollars for the old chalk angel. It's precious, right? Oh, and these crocheted stockings, six dollars each. What else do we have? Oh, vintage dog puppet. He's cute. Here's some dream pets. This one's a skunk for $10. A skunk. And a cat for $10. And a bear. He's $7.50. And there's Elmer Fudd. There, the lamb. Wow, look at the suitcases. Mm, those are cool. Old vintage doll. Anniversary doll. Anniversary rabbit. Hmm. I don't know about that. Well, was that a fun shopping trip? It was, it was kind of fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the haul now because I didn't film a whole lot when I was there. So I'm going to, I'm going to squeeze in the rest of the haul from what I did find. And then I actually have a couple more things that I'm going to show you from another antique place that I didn't, I didn't film at. But I, I did get some Tanala and I mentioned that in the, in the video, but I didn't show me finding it. But, um, I did get this cute little owl. It is just marked Mexico, I think. Are you marked Mexico, little baby? Well, I don't see that you are. That you are. It's got the little bird on it. Cute little baby owl. And then I got, these were marked as, what, were, what did they say they were? They said that they were ceramic pigeons, which I guess these would be pigeons, but I got these Tanala birds. This one is marked Mexico. They have a different design, but they're very much the same animal. A pigeon. A Tanala pigeon. Are you signed? No, you're not signed. Neither one of them are. So I mean, this one's signed Mexico, but they're not artist signed. And then I did get this cute little peachy colored flower frog i love the the colored ones and this one isn't even an opalescent it's just it's like a peach glass it does not glow i did test it but it, it doesn't glow but very fun color i like that one a lot and then i got a little blue bird this one is not signed so i don't know who made it but it's i kind of like that it's got all of these it almost looks like well it's not glitter but it's like all these air bubbles on the inside of his body. Can you see that? That's tape. Don't pay attention to that. But it's a cute little little bluebird. And I got some poodles. These are little bone china poodles. Oh man. Well, I didn't realize he's got a broken paw. I was so excited that I found them too. But this one right here has got a bro his paw is broken. He still stands, but his little paw is broken right there. I'm so sorry, little buddy. There's the mama or the daddy. And here's the mama. She's in good shape. She's got a little pink face. And this one's my favorite, the little baby. Is she just a little baby? Well, you know, it's got a broken paw. What are you going to do? 
Didn't notice it until now. All right, and then I got this. Oh, I need to, I need to plug this in. Let's plug this in. Oh, it's got a long cord on it. Let me plug it in. Ooh, here we go. It's going to be really hard to see because of this light, but this one has an orange light bulb in there. Maybe if I turn this light off so you can see. He's got an orange light bulb in him. It's a little ceramic owl. I don't know who made him, but his little eyes glow too. So how cute would he be? Oh, and you know what? This candle on the inside's a flicker candle. So his eyes kind of, see that? They flicker. You're spooky. You're a spooky owl. All right. So got the spooky owl. I kind of have these things to the side, so I'm a little off. I'm a little off. But I also got these owls, and they're made from chalkware, and they're painted gold. It was an owl day. It was a bird day. Well, you know that Tanala, big Tanala, that's an owl. It was a bird. I got lots of birds and poodles. But these are fun. They're chalkware. On the back, this one has a little bit of a chip on his foot, and it has, he has a little chip there on his eyeball, but I love their glittery eyes. Fun little hooters. Everybody loves a hooter, right? Two hooters. Two hooters are better than one sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes one hooter is just fine. All right, then I also, now was this the last thing? Oh, this was the last thing that I got from that antique mall. I didn't get a whole lot, but I got this needle point and it just simply states, I love you. I love you. And on the back, this is the part that I that really kind of sold me on it. It says made for her husband, William L. Bomber the third by Eleanor Bomber, Route 108 North Road, East Kingston, New Hampshire, on 52369. I love it when things are signed. Because you know what now all these years later we know that Eleanor did this and she did a fine job you did a great job Eleanor now your memory of your handiwork everybody's gonna remember and that you did that because someone had the fortitude to write all of your information on it so that's what I, all I got from the Bloomington antique mall that's all I got from the Bloomington antique mall but I also went over to Westbury Antique Mall in Bloomington, Indiana as well, which is Westbury is my one of my favorite places to go. I always find such good stuff there. And I picked up a few other things and I'm going to show those to you now too, because why not? You're already here. Let's just go ahead and watch. I got this little planter that I believe might be, uh, might be Shawnee, but, or might be American Bisque, but it has these ugly flowers in it. So we're going to take those out. And here he is. He's just a little bear pulling his wagon. We saved him from those horrible flowers. You'd look better with a succulent in you anyway. Um, so I got that. And then I got these cute little things. I'm, I should have put all this stuff in front of me, but I didn't. So we're just going to go with it. You guys understand, I know. But I kind of think I'm going to keep this elephant because I've started a new collection. I know. Of weird faced animals and look at this as a little made in japan elephant he now listen he has seen more things and he can explain but he still has his trunk up so he's good luck but he's marked japan on the back and then i got this little elephant he is well i think that he's made in japan but also has his trunk up he's got a brown paw and a brown foot. Maybe it's mud. He was rolling in the mud. And then I got this little thing. I think this is a vintage souvenir Florida toothpick holder. He does have a little chip right there. It's made in Japan. But this is the thing that I like the most about it. And the thing that I like the most was that it has a Woolworths tag on the bottom. This is probably from the 80s. But maybe set, well, probably 80s, but Woolworths. I like that it has the tag. And I also got this little plastic. This was $6.50. I 
I liked the look of it. It's very mid-century modern looking. It's plastic and it has the built-in under tray, but you can take it out if you want to wash it and, you know, and clean it because, you know, the water can get kind of icky. But I like that it was turquoise and black. Fun. And it's made by Quality Molding Company. Another thing I got, this was $3.99. So I'm going to have to really work on getting this tag off of the beautiful cardboard box. It's ring toss, but I love the box. I'll try to save it from the tag. It was $3.99. And this booth was 75% off. I mean, talk about having a sale. 75% off. Oh, I am there. But it's ring toss. So look, we can play ring toss at our next party. We can only have two rings, though. I wonder if it had more rings with it. Because there's four rings on the box. So somebody lost two rings. But I mainly bought it for the box anyway. I like the box. Another new collection of mine that I'm that I'm going to use for summer, a summer, summer decoration is this little, these little sand pails. This is metal, but look at the starburst. That looks like a snowflake though, but look at the starburst pattern on it. It's very, it's very faded. I also like that it had the metal shovel. Could you imagine? They would not sell. You would not give your child a metal shovel in today's age because they might hurt themselves with it. But back in our day, we played with metal. We were just fine. But I have another little one. Let me go show it to you. I have this other one that I've had and I'm gonna keep this one. Look how cute it is. Look at how cute that is. Look, there's Sugar Britches. Sugar Britches is having a picnic with Mr. Sugar Britches. And there's a creepy guy over there. Oh, and there's sugar britches again. There's two sugar britches. Look at that world. But I love that this has the original tag on. Now I didn't. Get, I got this at a different at a different time, but it has the original tag of 19 cents from Nizers. Do you know that place? Do you know Nizers? Do you remember Nizers? Um, and then I got this and I'm keeping this because this is just nostalgia to me. I mean, it might be, it probably is for you too. It's a postcard. I paid a dollar for it, but it's the iconic Holiday Inn sign. The Nation's Innkeepers. I mean, this was when Holiday Inn was, Holiday Inn was the place to be. This is from Lake City, Florida. They have, it's air conditioned. They have a restaurant, a swimming pool, free TV, free TV. Look at her. But I love this. I'm keeping this. I'm going to add it to my little summer display at home. And then I also picked up these two silhouettes. I love this green color. These were $4 and 50 cents each. Aren't they pretty? Two little silhouettes of these fancy pants. Look at, he's like, hello, my name is Roger. And she's saying, well, you're not good enough for me, Roger. They do have their original hangers on the back too. All right, oh, these. Okay, this, these also, come here, let me tell you something. Are you ready? I don't know if you're gonna be ready to hear this or not. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. But these I got. Now the frames are a little messed up. I'm gonna have to fix frames a little bit, but they are the original frames. They, they're paint by numbers of ducks. Beautiful coloring on this, on both of them. They're beautiful, those beautiful past, very spring colors. They were $19.99 each, but they were 75% off. And I went, I went here with my friend Cindy, and we both were like, 75% off? Okay. So that was a great deal. Eww. Those were fun to find. And then I got this. This is cool. This is a lamp, of course. A blue, kind of a pastel blue lamp with the original fiberglass shade. And it was $14. And it does work. 
And the cord is great. The cord, I mean, I would, I'm fine with plugging this cord in. Sometimes you buy lamps and you're like, eh, I'm not going to plug you in. You might electrocute me. But this one's good. And it does work. Oh, I love that. It's blue. This blue, coming back. I'm telling you, it's coming back. And then the last thing, let me move you a little closer because it won't reach. Whee! Okay, are you ready? Is that fun? Was that fun? The last thing that I got that day is this glowing cat. You, this is for the person who has everything. Do they have a ceramic cat lamp? Because they need one. This is made by Artmark. It is an Artmark original kitty cat. And it's dated, well, I don't... I think this was given to someone as a gift on Christmas in 1987 because that's written in ink pen, but it is art mark and it's a ceramic cat lamp. It's great. He's got green eyes too. Fun. So it was like a lamp. It was a lamp and a bird day because I did buy these on the same day. That was, no, I didn't. No, I didn't buy these on the same day. Forget what I just said. I didn't buy them on the same day. They were like a week apart, but still lamps and birds was the, 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 the week. It was a lamp and bird week. Um, thank you so much for watching. I know that this haul is a little sideways and a little weird, but I think that you'll be okay with it. I think that, you know, listen, you know that with me, you kind of never know what you're going to get. And today it's a sideways, it's a sideways haul, so to speak. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that, um, you like the things that I'm showing you today, leave me a message and let me know. Have you ever seen a glowing cat? You probably have. A lot of people have, but I think that they're pretty cool. So let me know if you like that glowing cat. So make sure that you leave me a comment and let me know what your, what was your favorite thing that I bought today? I'm always interested in knowing if, if you like something that I bought today. And as always, if you see something that you might be interested in, you can send me an email at thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and I'll let you know if it's available or if I'm gonna sell it in an upcoming live sale. And as always, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.